Hey, what's going on? You're tuned into the Daily Geek right here on Sweet Geek TV. I am your host, Griffin Granberg. And you know what? Today is February the 9th, 2009, episode 119 of the Daily Geek. Apologizing for Friday. Of course, like I said, it's a bear out there, okay? My schedule is crazy. I'm not going to let that happen this week, but you know what? Right now, we got to get to the geek news, so let's do it, all right? Story number one, Meg Whitman, the eBay ex-CEO, okay, could possibly be the next governor of California. No, seriously. She is wanting to be the governor of California. And you know what she did? She set up a whole website, MegWhitman.com, and did a YouTube video. So that like that's like a prerequisite right there. I mean, does that mean she's pretty much running? Doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it sort of does, right? I mean, a lot of candidates are doing that these days. It's going to be interesting to see how this unfolds. Lots of skeptical people about Meg Whitman. But as it happens and unfolds, I'm going to keep you up to date about it right here on The Daily Geek. And you know what? Let's move on. Story number two. Ha! 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 That's right. I'm laughing at you, people that were bitching and moaning and whining about the new Facebook design because you know what? Facebook usage is up. So up, in fact, that I gotta do this. Raise the roof! Raise the roof! I know, it's very awkward and, you know, almost dumb. But I gotta do it because Facebook's usage is that much up. They were talking about 11 sessions a month per user. That is crazy for how big of a user base Facebook has. But now they're saying, after the redesign, it's up to 17 sessions a month. How crazy is that? It's crazy, my friends. I'm telling you, 65.5 million uniques a month, which is awesome, right? But what's crazy is 1.2 billion page visitors, or visits, excuse me, which is, I mean, that's just gnarly. Story number three, the big announcement happened today. The blogosphere went crazy. That's right, the Kindle 2 was released. Amazon, you know, said, hey, look at this. The Kindle 1, uh, you know, was sold out as of November of last year, but now it's time. For the Kindle 2. Now, I'm not going to be like everyone tell you whether or not you should get this device or what have you. But I am going to tell you that it is kind of Apple-esque in the design. It's a little prettier. It's a lot thinner in the sense that it's classic pencil thin. You know, the pencils that you had to like stick into the little pencil sharpener and it like grinded. You were like, like that. You remember what I'm talking about. It's like that pencil thin, okay, which is pretty magnificent. And it has faster page turning, which some people are saying that isn't actually the case, but let's just go with it, okay? Seven times the amount of storage, which is always awesome. Sharper images and a cool read-to-me audio functionality, which I'm excited to see. The only takeaway from this that's kind of bad is that it's the same price, $359. A lot of people were hoping for more realistic, uh, lower pricing on that, but... 359 and you know what they're probably gonna get it because Amazon has plastered the Kindle everywhere You can tell Amazon that you don't like the Kindle at all in their system And you know what they're still gonna recommend it to you on every single purchase That's how it works, and you know what it's not bad marketing on their part um, But it's gonna be interesting to see how many people pre-order this sucker and how soon it can get sold out I have a feeling it's gonna happen story number four the Palm Trio Pro which possibly could be the best cell phone with Windows Mobile on it has been delayed it was looking at a February 15th release date but it has been delayed to TBD which means to be determined no one knows for sure when it's gonna be released but a lot of analysts critics those type of people are saying hey why are we even going to do the Palm Trio Pro when everyone wants the Palm Pre? When Sprint wants to spend, is going to have to spend, will definitely spend the marketing to push out the Palm Pre with a proper uh, product launch. So why are we even dealing with the Palm Trio Pro? Um, I just think, hey, why not? You know, Some people might prefer the Windows mobile operating system compared to the new um, WebOS that Palm Pre will have. Maybe. Some people might. You never know. <laughs> but at any rate, kind of interesting to see what's going to go on there. Of course, once we know more about the Palm Trio Pro or the Palm Pre for that matter, I'm going to let you know about right here on The Daily Geek. Story number five, last story of the day. This is not the most excited, but the thing is, is I'm glad to see that things are moving this way. Ford is, is going to start offering an electric minivan. That's right. You could be cruising down the interstate at 100 mile increments per charge. In this awesome new Ford minivan. Now, what is it called? It's very important. We got the Mustang, the Escort, the Focus, you know, all those cool names, if you will. What are they gonna call this minivan that runs off electricity? That's right, people. They're calling it the Ford Transit Connect. 
very exciting, I think, <laughs> or something. But here's the thing is they're not, actually not going to market this to consumers. They're going to market it to small businesses that need to run, like, small errands around town. Um, and the other cool thing is that this is going to be available by 2010, which means it's coming soon. I mean, soon, okay? They're going to have an electric small car, okay, due out by 2011, and then an advanced hybrid car due out by 2012. So it's kind of cool to see Ford moving in that direction. It's totally necessary. I like the fact that we can hopefully someday push away from fossil fuels and do some sort of alternative energy to power my car. Because you know what? I love the cruise. And there you have it. That is the Geek News for February 9, 2009, episode 119 of The Daily Geek on Sweet Geek TV. I am your host, Griffin Granberg, and the question of the day, I'm going to do two of them, is the first question of the day is, do you like the Kindle 2? Will you be purchasing the Kindle 2? Do you have the Kindle 1? What do you think about Amazon's Kindle 2 release that happened today? Now, if you don't like that question, how about you do question number two? The question of the day number two is, what do you think about the Palm Trio Pro? Should we just trash it and just look forward to the Palm uh, Pre, or do you think we should have both? I mean, I'm interested to hear what you have to think or what you're thinking or what you have to say about this. So you know what? Leave a comment no matter where you're at. I'm going to comment back to every single comment left. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Monday night. I will see you back here for a Tuesday edition of The Daily Geek tomorrow. See you then.